This question is super amazing because we will be using five different concepts in this single problem like two tangents theorem, theorem of tangent and radius, property of externally touching circles, similar triangle theorem, and our favorite Pythagoras theorem. We have a right-angled triangle whose this angle is 90 degrees. Now, as you can see, we have a circle that is inscribed inside this triangle, touching all three sides like this. The radius of this inscribed circle is two units. We will call it big circle. Now, draw a line that connects the center of this big circle with this vertex of the triangle. In addition to this big circle, there are two smaller circles drawn inside the triangle like these. This smaller circle touches the vertical side of the triangle and the hypotenuse, and also it touches the big circle externally. Also, the center of this smaller circle lies along this line. Now, draw a line that connects the center of this big circle with this vertex of the triangle. Similarly, this smaller circle touches the horizontal side of the triangle and the hypotenuse, and also it touches the big circle externally. Also, the center of this smaller circle lies along this line. Finally, this point at which this big circle touches the hypotenuse divides the segment in the ratio of 2 is to 3, meaning if this is 2 times x, then this will be 3 times x. We are given nothing else. Our job is to find the radius of this smaller circle using the information provided. So, can you solve it? Okay, as a first step, let us first learn about this. Theorem of tangent and radius. Tangent is a straight line that touches the circle at exactly one point without crossing it. The important property of a tangent is that it is always perpendicular to the radius at the point where it touches the circle. So if we draw these three radii, then they will be perpendicular to this horizontal side, this vertical side, and the hypotenuse, respectively. Now let us consider this quadrilateral. Both the sides are of length two units, and these three angles are right angles, and therefore this quadrilateral is a square. And thus, these two sides will also be equal to two units. Next, we will learn about this, the two tangents theorem. If two tangents are drawn to a circle from a single external point, then these tangents will always be equal in length. So consider this big circle and these two tangents. They are drawn from the same external point, which is this vertex. And hence, if this is two times x, then the length of this piece will also be equal to 2 times x. Similarly, consider this big circle and these two tangents. They are also drawn from the same external point, which is this vertex. And hence, if this is 3 times x, then the length of this piece will also be equal to 3 times x. Therefore, the length of the hypotenuse in terms of x will be 2 plus 3 or 5 times x then the length of this vertical side will be 2 times x plus 2, and the length of this horizontal side will be 3 times x plus 2. Yes, I guess we both are thinking the same. Let us use Pythagoras' theorem. So we get 5x whole square equals 2 times x plus 2 whole square plus 3 times x plus 2 whole square. Using a plus b whole square formula, Expand this to get 9x squared plus 4 plus 12x, and then expand this to get 4x squared plus 4 plus 8x. Now, rearrange to get this quadratic equation. I will not bore you by solving this quadratic equation. We can do so by using this quadratic formula. We get x equals minus 1 over 3, and x equals 2. But obviously, x equals 2 is not valid, since 5 times x is the side length, and thus it cannot be positive. So, x equals minus 1 over 3 is the only valid solution. Sorry, I was just playing with you all. Obviously, x will be positive, and thus x equals 2 is the only valid solution. Thus, hypotenuse will be 5 times x, or 10 units. Then the vertical side will be 2x plus 2, or 6 units, and the horizontal side will be 3x plus 2, or 8 units. 
Hence, this is a well-known 6, 8, 10 Pythagorean triplets. Also, the length of this piece will be 2x or 4 units, and the length of this piece will be 3x or 6 units. Now here comes the real magic. Draw the radius of this smaller circle. This will be a right angle because, remember, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent. Label this radius as R. Now consider this right triangle. If this is 4 units and this is 2 units, then the length of the hypotenuse, or h square, equals 4 square plus 2 square, or 16 plus 4, or 20. Thus, h equals square root of 20, or square root of 4 times 5, or 2 times square root of 5. Now, because both the big right triangle and this smaller right triangle share a common angle, which is this one, and both have a right angle, the two triangles have the same set of angles. Since they have equal angles, they are similar by the angle-angle criterion. This means the shape of the small triangle is exactly like the big one, just scaled down. So, this side, which is two units over this hypotenuse, or two times root five will be equal to this side, or r over the hypotenuse of this small right triangle, or y, which we don't know yet. Cancel both these two, and now take y, this side, and root 5 this side to get y equals r times square root of 5. Now let me tell you a property of externally touching circles. When you connect their centers, the distance between the centers of any two externally touching circles becomes the sum of their radii. Therefore, this length will be equal to the radius of this big circle or 2 plus radius of this smaller circle or r and this is r times root 5. Therefore, the length of the hypotenuse of this bigger triangle is r times root 5 plus r plus 2. We have already calculated this length, and it is 2 times root 5. Now take this 2 here to get 2 root 5 minus 2 equals. Take r common from here to get r times root 5 plus 1. Thus, r equals Take 2 common from here to get 2 times root 5 minus 1, and this divided by root 5 plus 1. Multiply and divide by its conjugate, which is root 5 minus 1. Use a minus b times a plus b formula, so that the denominator becomes 5 minus 1 or 4. Cancel this 2 with 4 to get 2 here. Then numerator will be root 5 minus 1 square, or 5 plus 1 minus 2 times root 5 or 6 minus 2 root 5. Divide by this 2 to get the value of radius as 3 minus root 5. And that's it. This was simply a mind-bending problem. Now use the same steps that I have shown you right now and let me know in the comments what will be the value of the radius of this smaller circle. Actually, a big shout out to one of my subscribers who was kind enough to mail me this question and many other amazing questions like this one, so that I can share it with all of you. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!